Hello, I'm Cleopatra Wallace, and this is an update video. Now, since nothing new has really happened, this is an update on the Taylor Young video, the Lena Sadar Kill video, and we're just going to do a quick swing by on the Lauren Fields story. So, Spirit guides, holy angels, and ancestors gather around. We're going to go to three separate places today. Let me get these ready. Now, first, I would like to start at the beginning. In the beginning will be Taylor Young. So, first we're going to go to Houston, Texas. Zip code 77042. Taylor Young, who was 25 or is 25 years old. Well, he had a birthday on the um, end of December, I think. So he would be 26 now. So Taylor Young, 26, in Houston, Texas, has been missing since December the 9th of 2021. We have one. And... He left, oh, two, he left on his, one more for Taylor Young. He left on his lunch break on 12 9 21. And um, he was last seen, his car was seen at a Chase Bank where he withdrew $2,000. And that was the end of it. Him nor his car has ever been found. And we are inquiring about Taylor Young in zip code 77042. There it is, 042 who left on his lunch break and did not return. All right, let's see. Okay, so the first card for Taylor is the Page of Swords, who is always um, the fresh-faced young boy to me. That's what I remember most about this card. See, he's very clean-shaven, very young. And I believe this here is, um, this has Taylor's energy on it. I was wanting to see if it was the person who um, had something to do with him going missing. But no, this is actually him. And where he's gripping the top of this gun thing at, instead of seeing like whatever this bow and arrow thing is, there's a pair of keys there. So he was... Um, identifying hard with his car and his car keys or his possessions i guess you can say all right and next we had a justice card which also means a libra i don't know why but to me they're pointing out this wound coming out of his back at first, when I first looked at it, I had to decide if he was getting shot from behind. But no, this is just something coming out of the back. He's being shot from the front. I don't. As far as um, Taylor Young goes with this card, I say there could be an injury on the person who has. When I say on the other person, I mean like this wound here. That's not on Taylor. The wound or the um, scar or whatever it is going on right here, this is on the person who has to do with him. So it could be that Taylor fought back or um, even bit the guy or um, stabbed him in some way in the back right here. So I guess you would say the person who's responsible will have an injury on their upper left shoulder. All right. And you gotta remember Taylor, um, he was in a, a a relationship. And I think they were um might have even been thinking of getting married. And we have the Ten of Cups here. And this is the two. And they're doing well on this card. The, um, you know, they have everything. There's no hiding any anything. Everything's all on the table. So this is the energy of him and his girlfriend or his fiance. This is like, to me, is saying that there was no malice on her part. Like she had absolutely nothing to do with what happened. 
All right. Well, now that we got Taylor's energy here, let's ask a question. And then we're going to go on to the next story. Spirit, thank you for showing us the injury on the perpetrator's shoulder. Can you give me a little bit more information regarding Taylor Young, who went missing on December the 9th of 2021? All right. I see we have two here. Let's see what they say. All right. So the first one is a poor choice. It's a negative card because it has no triangles at the top. This one's a positive card because it does have triangles at the top. But this is complete. This one says poor choices. All right, the poor choices one. This one is only like, it's just kind of like the fool card. You know, the fool's always really close to the curb. But the thing that makes this card a negative card is that he's not looking where he's going. His head is looking this way, but he's walking forward. So I guess there was a moment that he was caught off guard. Because in the first reading, I think I picked up some strong arm robbery. All right. And the complete. This could be where he is now. You see, you see where this looks? You know what that kind of reminds me of? The way like the square is right there. Um, a car garage. Where you where you control it from the inside of your car, like in the nineties. You make it, you know, you press the button and it goes up. And I think in the first reading, I did pick up that he was, in my energy, I felt like he was in the um, in the car, like possibly in, in the trunk of the car, maybe. Now they're giving me a garage. I think we still will have to find the car to find Taylor. All right. Thank you, Spirit. We are going to move on to the next story. It's one that we have never um, covered here before because so many people have covered it. And um, it just was not a very easily talked about story. But we're going to go into the Lauren Fields spirit. So thank you for having us in Houston, Texas. But now we're going to go over to Bridgeport, Connecticut. So spirit guides, ancestors, and angels, take us now to Bridgeport, Connecticut, zip code zero. 6610 and we're looking for Lauren Fields who at the time would have been 23 years old and she has a Plymouth Street apartment thank you we have two just need one one or two more Lauren Fields I believe she had an apartment on Plymouth Street so we're in Bridgeport Connecticut now zip code 06610 and we want to be there on 12 12 21 which is december the 12th of 2021 and that is the day that lauren fields was found unresponsive all right so thank you for giving us the three cards straight away all right so the first card is the star and this is the beauty of horror deck by the way All right, so the first card is the star, and immediately, as we know, she was found unresponsive, but they never said whether she had injuries or anything, but I know her um, father or her family said that they were very insistent that um, she didn't do drugs, and the first thing you see when you turn this, when I looked at this card, is this coffee pot here, this drink being served, and then... The other card, the Three of Cups, is again with the drinks in the hand. So they're definitely giving me vibes that she was unpoisoned with a drink. So thank you for that, Spirit. Because sometimes a lot of um, medicines and poisons and stuff, they're tasteless and odorless. So you, you know, mix them with one of those strong spikes from Taco Bell or something, you would never know. All right. Now, let's see what this card here is about. This is the Seven of Wands. This could be giving us clues as to who. 
because they're pointing out to me that this person is bald and has dark circles under their eyes. Now, don't know they said she dated older people now. Now, some older people do have um dark circles, dark circles, dark circles under their eye, you know, from age or just worrying too much. And I do see this person has um could be liver spots or age spots. All right, let's see if we can get just a little bit more information about the bald man. All right, Spirit, thank you for um giving us information concerning Lauren Fields. Like I said, we're in the zip code of 06610. We're on Plymouth Street in Bridgeport, Connecticut on December the 12th of 2021 concerning Lauren Fields. All right. Lover's card, which also can mean a Gemini. But this is... um. Yeah, so this was someone that she had um, been intimate with. This is not a, um, a familiar connection, like family or anything. And again, with the bottle. Or the drink. The way... The way they're laying in this bed, doesn't her um, arm seem awkward right there? Like, hmm. A bald man. The way this, the way this arm is here, it kind of looks like like something's grabbing her from behind, almost like she's being choked from behind. But it's her own arm. I'm thinking there could have been a little bit of poison or some, you know, asphyxiation and poison also. I guess we have to wait to see if we get any more updates about that. But the guy who responsible is definitely bald and has dark circles under his eyes. All right. Now, let's go on to the last story. It's about little Lena Kill, who was... um. A part of an Afghanistan family that had recently moved to San Antonio in 2019 to escape um, war and, you know, tribal war and violence and that whole thing. And they were and they were over here and they still live here in San Antonio. So spirit guides and holy angels and ancestors, we are now are leaving Bridgeport, Connecticut. And I want to go to San Antonio, Texas. And we're going in order as far as the dates. So we was at December the 9th and we were at December the 12th. Now we're just going eight days over. It's eight, eight little 24 hours to December the 20th of 2021. Like I said, Lena Sadao killed with a three years old. And she's a part of an Afghanistan family who moved here in 2019. She was playing in the communal park of the building or complex that she lives in around 5 p.m. Her mother stepped away. When she turned back, Lena was gone. And this is around 5 o'clock. So, Spirit, can you tell me, as of now, is there anything? All right. It's two. As of now, is there anything new that you can tell me about what happened to Lena Sodar Kill in San Antonio, Texas? Within the zip code of 78201 on the date of December the 20th of 2021. All right. So we have three cards. Let's see what's on them. 
Okay, the first card that came out in the very beginning before I even gave her location is this Two of Cups card. And this Two of Cups card is, um, this has like her energy on it. You ever seen like a child's playroom, how it'd be like toys scattered all over the floor? And you know, they'd be having the tea parties and all of that going on. So this is the little girl's room. So she was inside. They showed me her room instead of a playground. Interesting. All right, up next we have... The Ace of Swords, which is, you know, a new cut, a new problem. This looks like steam. It could be clouds because this is the mountain. Or it could be, um, it could be bath water. It could very well could be bath, sud sudsy bath water. They've already showed her being inside. Okay, we're going to, I'm going to ask about this card right now. Before we go on to the last card, we got to ask about this one. Because is it steam or is it bath water? Spirit, as far as Nina Sadar Kill is concerned, on, on December the 20th of 2021, oh wait, I'm going to use the other one. The Nightmare Before Christmas Day, all right. Well, I'm glad they told me before I started shuffling away that they didn't want that one. All right. But as far as Lena Sadar Kill is concerned on San, in San Antonio, San Antonio, why can I not talk all of a sudden? As far as Lena Sadar Kill is concerned in San Antonio, Texas, on December the 20th of 2021, what can you tell me about this Ace of Swords card? Is this bad order or is it steam? What's going on in this card? All right. Ooh. They gave us a death card. Hmm. I was. I, it's like I don't know. Now I have. Now I want to ask if she died in the bathroom because I, I just don't like it. But I, if I can remember in the first reading, there was something about water drainage or um like um like gutters and like water and stuff. And it could be a drain, a bathtub drain. Spirit concerning Nina Sadar Kill on December the 20th of 2021. We now have the Ace of Swords in the death card here. What can you tell me? Why are these two cards here together for Lena? All right, we got three cards. Okay, first is women's treachery, which is the two women fighting over the chicken. It is just like um, you know, a cat fight. But she's only three years old, so there's no reason why Lena would be in a cat fight or involved in a cat fight. Unless Lena's the chicken in the middle. All right. And then we have the wise old woman card, which is the, um, oh, it kind of looks like a person from Afghanistan with the, um, with the hijab and everything going And pleasant dreams. The pleasant dreams together 
with the um with the two rings that are unbroken and this is a positive card I think it could be um a couple responsible and they're um you know they're not worried at all all right we'll leave it there again i am clear petra wallace if you found this video interesting give it a thumbs up or you can subscribe to my channel because who knows what's going to happen next